I'm sad to see what's going on What's happening in Hillsborough Hi, Will Baker here with What's Happening Hillsboro. Today I'm at the wastewater treatment plant with Jeff Mahagan. It's a big day for Jeff, so tell us about it. What's going on today, Jeff? Well, today is the day we mark the final completion of the wastewater plant treatment upgrade. Sweet. So we don't need these hard hats anymore, do we? Construction's done. We don't need these. That's great. We're going to have a big ribbon cutting today. There's going to be lots of people and uh, a tour afterwards. Well, great. Well, Jeff has agreed to give us a tour right now, so we're going to start at the beginning of the plant and just see all these great improvements we've made today. Great, let's, let's go. go. So this is where it all begins. The wastewater from all over town flows into this spot right here, and it goes into this machine. This machine is designed to remove floatables and generally trash, uh, paper products, plastic, anything that's big and considered trash. The Inside here are really fine screens. It catches all the trash, augers it up to the top, goes into a second compartment where all that trash is washed and then compacted. Then it's conveyed over to a dumpster and goes off to landfill. Over here is called grit removal. Grit is sand, gravel, coffee grounds, anything that's heavy that, really, that will settle to the bottom. The water flows over the top and the heavy material comes out the bottom and it also goes to a dumpster and off to landfill. After this is secondary treatment. Secondary treatment's over there. From the preliminary treatment, the wastewater flows into these tanks. This is secondary treatment. In the secondary treatment, we remove organics and nutrients. From here, we go on to clarification. After the aeration tanks, all the water flows into a clarifier. Clarifiers are big tanks with that just hold the water, distill all the energy to allow all the solids that are in the water to settle to the bottom. The solids that go to the bottom, go back to the head of the plant, and the water, the clear water on top, flows over and onto filtration. After clarification, the water will still have some suspended solids in it, and we got to get that out. So the water comes from the clarifiers to filters. These are deep bed sand filters. The media in there is about six feet deep, all the sand. So the water flows in from the top, flows through the sand, removing all the solids that are suspended in the water. The water goes on to disinfection, and then we remove the solids and put those back to the head of the plant. A portion of the solids from clarification and filtration are removed from the treatment process and delivered to solids treatment. Here the solids are treated and stored, thickened, and then pressed to the consistency of pumpkin pie. The solids then go into a semi-truck trailer and are delivered to a compost facility to be reused as a soil amendment. After the water goes through filtration, it comes to the chlorine disinfection. The chlorine is added at the head of the tank flows through the serpentine tank, allowing time for the chlorine to disinfect. After that, it flows over a weir, and the chlorine is removed before going to the river. This is the end of the process. This is what we call the effluent. Thanks to the plant upgrade, we're, we've nearly doubled our hydraulic capacity of the plant. We're able to re reduce the phosphorus content by over 50% and reduce the nitrogen content by over 65%. That will, that's it. Awesome, well thanks for the tour, Jeff. We really appreciate it. Let's go to Ribbon Cutting. Let me welcome you here this morning. I'm Mayor Tom Stevens. Uh, I am joined with uh, other uh, officials and commissioners from the town of Hillsboro, uh, Evelyn Lloyd, uh, Eric Hallman, and Kathleen Ferguson, and uh, here we are. There's folks who helped build this plant. We have citizens. We have folks who run the plant. We have town employees. Um, we have kids. We have uh, a, a nice group here. When we, when we talk about Hillsboro and our vision of Hillsboro, it's about community and our, our character and our heritage and the general prosperity that we have and the vitality of our town. Um, 
We have a mission for town government to make that vision happen, which is being good stewards of resources for all the living beings. And so uh, it is in that spirit of our vision and our mission as town government to uh, celebrate what is so under-celebrated, which is almost miraculous, and that's our basic infrastructure. Uh, we get water from our fabulous Eno you know, River, uh, and we, um, there's a lot of wastewater that happens um, after that water is used, and it goes back to the river. Uh, and I'm happy to say with this fabulous new facility, uh, we put it back and uh, leave the river in really good shape, in, uh, in as good a shape as the, the, the way we found it. So uh, we'll not take a lot of other words, but this is, this is a big day for Hillsborough. Uh, a very important event and uh, and speaking for uh, the commissioners and for the citizens of Hillsborough uh, for all of you who helped design this facility for all of you who were here and helped build this facility and for all our employees uh, who uh, work here and keep our infrastructure going we say thank you and now let me uh, introduce our town manager Mr. Eric Peterson Thanks, Mayor. Good morning, everybody. Can you hear me okay? So, on time, under budget, big and expensive. Those, uh, whether it's building a coliseum or a utility plant, those things don't happen very often. Uh, so it's remarkable, and we've got a great new facility that's going to protect the environment and serve Hillsboro for generations. Uh, a lot of credit, Kenny's going to talk about the staff, uh, we really want to thank the, uh, you've got to do your work up front. And unfortunately, we found out the hard way sometimes that if you don't invest and spend a little bit more money on design, you'll pay for it in the long run. And uh, we've got Hazen and Sawyer, they're known in this part of the country for being fantastic engineers, and they have lived up to that along with co-working with Davis, Martin, and Powell. So let's give them a round of applause and thank them for their great work. And even if you've got the best engineers, if you don't have an outstanding contractor who's flexible, who will make adjustments, who will point out things that need to be done differently, it's still not going to work. And Choate Construction has absolutely been fantastic working with our staff and ensuring that we've got a fabulous product. So let's also thank the folks from Choate. Uh, two other groups of folks I want to make sure that often get overlooked, but they're really the key to the success on major projects like that. And they are members of our Water Sewer Advisory Board, Water Sewer Advisory Committee. I know Frank is here. Is anybody else from the Water Sewer Advisory Committee? They have really taken a big leadership role in making sure that the staff is heading in the right direction and give us the, the support and guidance we need. And the other group is the mayor and the board. They're the ones that have made the difficult decisions to raise the rates and take the leadership that's necessary to make sure that we're prepared going forward. So I just want to thank uh, the Water Sewer Advisory Committee, Mayor Stevens, and the Board of Commissioners. So. All right. Okay. Thank you. Without an extra, we would have had all kinds of issues to come up uh, during construction. Um, and we did have some issues, but the excellent staff, the, the great contractor, they all worked together to make sure that uh, things were done right, things were changed if they needed to be, adjusted, adjusting of the, the treatment process, uh, whatever needed to be done. And we were, uh, they were successful at uh, uh, doing, having two and a half years of construction here uh, without having any discharge violations at all with the plant. Um, and they've just done an astounding, uh, astounding job of that. Uh, and so we have, uh, I believe, all of our staff here, uh, most of our staff here. Uh, we have uh, Jeff Mahagan, our plant superintendent, uh, Sean Maines, who's our chief operator. Uh, we have Jeff Davis and Herbert Brown, who are both operators, and Ethan Oles, who's our uh, uh, utility mechanic here at the plant. Um, and also, I don't see them, but um, uh, Let's see, Mick, I saw Mick around here. Oh, there's Mick Lane. And uh, Benjamin Bonney also is another one of our operators. I think I got everybody. I don't think I forgot anybody. Uh, anyway, thank you. And with that, I'll turn it back over to the mayor uh, for our ribbon cutting. 
I, I always think of the ribbon cutting. It's very much a community effort. And so uh, Kenny will you join me, uh, if any of the wastewater treatment staff would like to join me. Commissioners, if you will join me. Uh, Catherine, if you're you know, um, young ones would like to help, we'd love to have some citizens uh, be part of the ribbon cutting. Um, so uh, this is always a group effort. So uh, y'all can gather in a little bit closer uh, and we'll um, get this ribbon cut.